All right, so we're recording. All right, so our workout today, throw it on the whiteboard here. We are gonna oh, do three Lord. series. We're gonna start with some dips. We have some Arnold press, leg lowers, then we're gonna go into some uh, single arm row. Pike walks, so that's our handstand modification. Um, side bends today as well, deficit push-ups, curls, and straight leg sit-ups. So what we need for equipment today, if you have a chair or a box or a couch, something that you can do your dips off the side of a, a ledge. Um, you also need some dumbbells. Uh, you don't necessarily need a kettlebell today. You can use your dumbbell instead. Um, and then you're gonna use your box or whatever you have for your pike walks as well. Um, we should be good with everything else. So pretty much just dumbbells and somewhere you can do some dips. Cool? All right, I'm gonna put this in the background and we are gonna go ahead and get started with some dips. So we're gonna do tempo dips today. I'm gonna use my chair as my surface. What we're gonna do on our dips is we're gonna take three seconds to get to the bottom of your dip. All I'm looking for is that your shoulder is just below your elbow at the bottom. So easiest modification, we'll have our knees bent. Butt's gonna stay close to the box. We're going three seconds down, and then we're gonna press right back up, okay? Now we're gonna go for 10 reps on our dips. So if you have your equipment ready to go, we'll go ahead and get started with that, okay? So 10 dips, just slow on the way down, keeping those shoulders back just till that shoulder passes the elbow, and they'll get a nice quick push up at the top. one. We're going to go into an Arnold press for the next one. And we are going to do an alternating Arnold press, which means we're going to hold the opposite dumbbell in that front rack. So we're going to go palms facing towards the body. Feet are going to be underneath our hips. We're going to press out, around, and up. We'll come back to the shoulder and go to the other side. Out, around, and up. That elbow comes back out to the side. We're gonna do eight on each side, okay? No tempo really on this one, just nice and controlled reps. rest for a second here. This last one we're going to do an alternating kettlebell leg lower. You can also use your dumbbell for this one as well. What we're going to do in this one is we're going to get into kind of a dead bug position, but our legs are going to be straight. So we'll come up on our back. Dumbbell is going to be up over our chest. We're going to crunch the shoulder blades off the ground. Straight legs. We're going to extend one a couple inches off the ground. Come back up and we'll switch to the other side. We're gonna do uh, eight on each side on this one as well. Just keeping that core nice and tight. Making sure that the low back stays pressed into the floor and those shoulder blades are crunching up the whole time. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like, oh baby. Oh. I gotta make sure I don't, don't put my dumbbell on my face. Yeah, 
on each side. Sonny. Sonny, you gotta go lay down. You gotta go lay down. Catch your breath for a minute after that one. We're gonna head back to our dips for our second round. So remember, we're gonna do eight, uh, 10 dips. Remember that nice tempo, three seconds down, and then fast on the way up. Whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and get started. If you wanna make that a little bit harder, you can straighten your legs out. This is fine where it is. <laughs> What are you looking at me for? Hmm? What? Woohoo! Biceps! Thanks. All right, shake out those arms a little bit. Catch your breath. We're going to go back for another set of the Arnold Press. More. <clears throat> Needing reps on this one. No control, no exact tempo, just control. All right, palms facing the body, out, around, and up. Keeping that core tight the whole time. What are you doing? Why are you watching? Finish out there. We'll come back down to the ground for our alternating leg wars. We're going to stay in that nice crunch position. Shoulder blades are off the ground. Keeping that low back press down. Watch out, man. Watch out. Down towards the ground, one at a time. <laughs> what is your problem?
Anybody's arms feeling puffy yet? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sonny, you gotta relax. One more set of the Arnold press. We want eight on each side on these as well. set of the alternating leg lowers. We will be done with this first series. All right, grab some water, take a little breather. <clears throat> Move on to our next series. <clears throat> All right. This series, if you have a slightly heavier dumbbell or kettlebell, we're going to go with a single arm row. You can use your box or your couch or whatever you have to uh, support yourself on this one. What we're looking for here, our hand is on the bench, our back is nice and flat, knees are bent. We're just going to squeeze the dumbbell up, pause, and then slowly, two seconds, come back to the bottom. So up to the top, slight pause, two seconds down. We're going to go eight reps on each side. Just make sure you get that nice one second pause at the top and try to make sure that torso is facing the ground here on these. All right. All right, our next one, I'm going to give you two options for this one. This is going to be a pike walk. 
Easier option, we're just gonna reach down towards the toes, keeping our palms flat. We're gonna walk out to our high plank position. And then we're gonna go ahead and walk our hands back, trying to keep our legs straight as we come back in. If you need to bend a little bit, that's okay. If you have an elevated surface, like your chair, we've done these at the gym before. We're gonna start in our pike position, hips over the shoulders, and we're gonna walk out and so we're in a nice straight line. And then we're gonna go ahead and walk our hands back all the way up. And we're gonna do five of these, whichever option you choose. Keeping our core tight, pressing away through the hands. Oh, sliding. There's five of those. Strings are so tight. <laughs> well, the last one's going to be our kettlebell side bends. Um, again, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell for this one as well. Um, we're going to get our feet close together, pretty much right together. Dumbbell's going to rest on one side, keeping our shoulders square. Just going to push this hip away, lean down, and then squeeze back to that standing position. And we'll take about three seconds. On the way down, two to three seconds on the way down. We're gonna do 10 on each side. I don't know if you guys remember the last time we did these, but I was pretty sore after that. I'm gonna be so glad when they're done with this freaking construction over here. Are they still working on the street? Are you gonna, do you hear that? Mm -hmm. No. No? Oh, I thought it was making noise. I don't know what the F they're doing. Ugh. I hear them. Why are you watching me? Huh? Woo. Yeah. Woo. <clears throat> we'll get a little bit of rest. We'll start this series back over with our single arm row. Our tempo on that. We're gonna get one second pause at the top and then two seconds on the way down. And again, you can use your chair or whatever you have for your support here. Torso is facing the ground. Make sure we're pulling that shoulder back on the way up. Eight reps.
left here, and then we're gonna go into our pike walks. Again, you can do this with your feet on the ground or elevated on a surface. We're just gonna do five of these. Finish out this round with our side bend. Going again, 10 on each side here, nice and slow on the way down. <coughs> Big squeeze on the way up. Dude, what is it? Hmm? How come any mosquitoes didn't die this winter? I don't know, but I've had them in my backyard lately too. Yeah, they're like all over my legs right now. Oh. Honey, you gotta wait. Just what are you doing? <clears throat> <clears throat> Just a little bit. Just relax. Right into our pike walks. Next will be our last set of these. Five reps. Nice active shoulders on these. Push away from the floor.
the side bend. Go down on each side. Nice and slow on the way down. <laughs> You're cracking me up, dog. All right. <clears throat> All right, you a little bit of a break. The only thing we'll need for our last round is just a set of light to moderate weight dumbbells. today we are going to do some deficit push-ups the best ever <laughs> start with on this yeah. we'll have our dumbbells just about shoulder width maybe slightly wider uh, for our deficit we're going to bring our chest between the dumbbells and we're going to touch the chest at the bottom and then press all the way back up we are going to try to go with a little bit of a tempo on this one so on the way down, I want you to think about two seconds, all the way to the ground, and then a big push up at the top. We'll pause at the top. We're gonna do 10 of these. You can do them from your toes or from your knees. Either way is fine, okay? So what it's gonna look like here, we'll have our dumbbells set. I'm gonna do mine from my knees today. Nice straight line from the knee to the shoulder. Coming all the way down to touch the chest, and then we're gonna big push back all the way up, okay? So we're gonna do 10 of these. Whenever you're ready, just remember slow on the way down. And then a little pause at the top. Myself. <laughs> it's gonna get bad. Oh. Mute. Christy's about to grunt out of control. I'll right, get 10 deficit push ups. And from there, we're gonna go right into bicep curls at tempo. So with your dumbbells, feet under our hips, palms facing away from the body. We're gonna lock our elbows in tight. Two seconds up, two seconds down. Nice controlled, both directions. And we're gonna go for 10 on this one as well. Try not to let your body swing. Just gonna squeeze with the biceps. Two seconds up, two seconds down, 10 reps.
And then our last one today, we're gonna do a straight leg, single arm sit up. If you have a weight light enough, you can hold on to your weight. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna lay on our back, legs are gonna be straight out in front. I'm gonna hold this weight up over my chest. I'm just gonna use my core to lift myself up into this seated position, okay? We're gonna do um, 10 on each side. If you don't have a weight that's light enough, just do your body weight. And we'll just reach that hand up towards the ceiling at the top. Ideally, we wanna to try to keep our heels on the ground as we come up. Ten on each side. push-ups. Another set of 10 there. Remember that slow tempo on the way down. Take about two seconds to the bottom and that big push-up on the way up. I feel like this last series is always the hardest. <laughs> Shake out your arms a little bit. I got a set of dumbbell curls on 10. Remember, trying to stay at tempo. Two seconds up, two seconds down. Finish out this round with our single arm, straight leg sit up. 
And we're going 10 on each side. And keep the heels on the ground as we come up. Push ups. See our last time through. set of curls, one more set of sit-ups. We're done.
All right. That is it for our accessory work today. Uh, we'll do another one next Monday. We'll probably stick with more of a, an upper body and core focus since a lot of our workouts are legs. <laughs> so I'll try yeah. to talk that out a little bit. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to stop the recording now.